All right, welcome to another YouTube video at Phone Ops, and today we are talking about the Poco F3, also known as the Mi 11X in India. Now, recently, we reviewed this particular ROM, which is the latest Oxygen OS port for this device. It is called the Extended Edition, and it is based on the OnePlus Nord. Now, as you all requested, today we're going to see how to install it step by step. It's going to be a relatively simple process, but do pay attention to each and every step. Otherwise, you might end up in a boot loop. So before we get into the details, if you have it already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, as you can see over here, this is the build that we are talking about. It is Oxygen OS 11 Extended Edition port, Android 11 ported from the OnePlus Nord. Now, we're not going to go through the change log and all the other things, but this is important because this is an installation video. Of course, clean flash is a must. Now, whatever instructions they have to install this ROM, before that, we will go through the general instructions of what you should do before you actually go ahead and flash a custom ROM. Because remember, you're wiping everything on your phone, including your phone's internal storage. So the most important thing to do is backup, 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 backup all the information on your device, be it, you know, your pictures, images, music, video, whatever. Just make sure you've backed it up to a secure location. And after you've done that, the most important thing to ensure is you have more than 50% battery because you don't want a dead device, which may happen if you, you know, if your phone switches off while flashing a ROM. Now, once you've taken care of that, the basic understanding and requirement is you need a Poco F3 or a Mi 11X with an unlocked bootloader and a TWRP custom recovery installed. Now, the recommended TWRP for this particular ROM is, of course, linked in the description. So you can go ahead and use that. And if you want to know how to install TWRP, we have a detailed video on that. You can go ahead and follow that. Now, once you've taken care of all of these things, if you are coming from MIUI, it is very important that you sign out of your MI account. And even if you're not on MIUI, you need to remove your face unlock, your fingerprint unlock, any form of lock screen, pin pattern or password and reboot the device once. Now, once you've done all of this, that's when the ROM installation comes into the picture. Now to install this particular custom ROM, the major requirement here are three files which we will need. Let me show you what those three files are. Now, as you can see, this is the firmware. So based on the region, you have to decide which firmware you want to install because this device is available in China as the Redmi K40, in India as the Mi 11X and in the rest of the world as the Poco F3. This, of course, is a ROM which comes with G apps. And as you can see, this is a refresh rate fix. So these are the three files that you will need. Now, once you've done all of that, you are ready to go and ready to flash. But let's quickly see what the developer has to say as far as installation is concerned. So once you click on info and installation, it will take you to a link which has several notes and you need to pay attention to those. Now, if you scroll to the bottom, you will see go to recovery flash regional firmware first. So global, Europe, China, India. You can choose which device you have. You have to wipe data cache if you come from other ROM, select downloaded ROM and do not flash this from an OTG pen drive. That means you need to copy these files to your phone's internal memory and you need to use a TWRP which allows you to use your internal memory. The latest TWRP should be fine because that has everything fixed including Android 13 decryption. Format data if your storage is encrypted, we will do that regardless and reboot to slot A. That is what they recommend. Now, once you've taken care of all of this, we need to go to TWRP. Now to do that, we will press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the POCO or the ME logo. So as you can see here, okay, we have the logo in place and it's booting into TWRP right now. All right, we have the TWRP boot up screen. Now let me quickly show you what is to be done here. Now this pin or pattern, as you can see, I've kept it intentionally. That means my storage is encrypted, which means towards the end of the flash, I will have to do a format data, which will warning you wipe everything on your internal storage. So make sure you back up everything, right? Now, first let's go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data. That's all we will wipe. We will, we will not wipe internal storage because that's where our files are. Okay, now go back to the home screen, go to install. And as you can see, we have all of our files here. So the first file that we will flash is the firmware. And you can uncheck this option, automatically reflash TWRP, swipe to confirm flash. 
This might take about 30 seconds to flash the firmware. There you go. Once again, go to install and this time select the ROM. So that's the last file. Still, this will stay unchecked. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this is a ROM which is around two gigabytes. So it will take anyways between, you know, 45 seconds to a couple of minutes. So please be patient while that happens. Okay, now as you can see over here, the ROM has flashed successfully. There are these few errors, you can ignore them. Now, next up, once again, go to TWRP, install and select the refresh rate patch. And this time we will enable this automatically refresh TWRP because we want TWRP, right? Okay, so the flashing is done, but remember we are encrypted. So let's go to wipe, format data and type in yes and hit the tick mark. All right, now let's go to reboot and select system. Now the first boot will take anywhere between 45 seconds to a couple of minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, as you can see, it did take more than one minute, but it has booted successfully. Now I'm quickly going to skip through everything because I'm done using and reviewing this raw. I'll just about show you, you know, that it's working just fine. All right, just like that, we are on the home screen. Now let's quickly go to settings over here and let's go to about phone. As you can see, this is the latest OxygenOS version, which is working absolutely fine. Even if we go to display, because remember we flashed the refresh rate fix. So you have 90 Hertz, 120 Hertz and 60 Hertz. Now, this is why I came to this menu. In case you still have 90 Hertz, I would recommend you to go back to TWRP and flash the fix again, because what you should be seeing is 120 Hertz auto, 120 Hertz always and 60 Hertz. Now this is buggy and this might give you errors. So remember to flash the refresh rate fix once again after setting up the ROM. So this was the quick step-by-step -step install guide for Oxygen OS 11 Extended Edition for the Poco F3 and the Mi 11X. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.